This ain't build a bear. Bigger butt and bigger boobs. This ain't build a bear. If you. I don't know the rest of the words. We were in Des Moines, Iowa yesterday, just running the city like we usually do. I don't really know what I meant by that. We went to Cheesecake Factory. That's what I mean by running the city. We got an appetizer. We got, we got more than an appetizer. I'm saying it's just a flex that like a lot of people when they go out to eat, they don't get an appetizer. I didn't <laughs> actually comprehend that. Yeah, that's a, I was just trying to flex on everyone. But we yeah. didn't get dessert. That would be a bigger flex. Anyways, after going to Cheesecake Factory, we were like, what should we do next? There was an air pasta at this mall. There was a American Eagle. I'm not gonna say I'm not a fan of those stores, but I just didn't really give a shit about those stores. Burn them down. And then I was like looking and I was like, build a bill? Build a bear workshop where best friends are made. Yeah, I never, I was just about to say I've never been to Build a Bear, but I have. I actually got a Build a Bear when I was like eight years old in Minnesota. Gay. Oh, it's, but, but it was only for girls. Oh, is it for both? I actually didn't have that even in my Just mind. kidding. Let's cut all that out. Why do we even bring that up? Like, if you didn't know, because I'm guessing you didn't know, because you don't leave your house and you're locked in your basement, please leave. I'm joking. My fucking <laughs> <laughs> weird. Sorry for being rude. I had to let out my angle somewhere. Build a Bear is a shop for kids, anyone I guess. There's body suits for stuffed animals. Yeah, just skin. And the whole idea is, you have the body suit of the dragon, we're gonna fill it up for you, you put a heart in it, and voila, you have your own stuffed animal that you made, Billy. And that honestly is a good idea. Why don't they have Build a Barbie shops, to be, to be honest? You could pick the body type, everything. They did try Build a Doll. Oh, it, it didn't pop off. I mean, it's not a thing anymore, so I'm assuming it didn't. <laughs> it also sounds kind of scary, cause like I'm picturing build a build a doll, and like there's a head, there's a whole entire bin just full of doll heads, and like there's an arm bin. It just it gives horror movie vibes. So I can see why that didn't take off. Build a Bill was founded in 1997, and it has had a long run, and in fact, it still does great in sales. Their sales every year are in the 100 millions and more. Honestly, I was surprised when Jacob told me this because I don't know why, but I was just under the assumption that I felt like they were gonna be bankrupt or something. Cause I was just, when I think of build I think of malls. When I think of malls, I think of, it's not a thing anymore, but in reality it is. Wait, it's a public company so I can invest in it? Yeah. I'm going on Robinhood after this and putting a, buying a stock of Build-A-Bear. This is not financial advice, but I oh, might yeah. recommend investing. <laughs> when we walked into Build-A-Bear, we realized that there's steps. There's a mm. whole, like, what would you call it? There's a whole... There's a whole assembly line you go down with your bear. Yep. Number one, choose me. This is the ripped off skin suits. It's like if you skinned someone and just had their skin laying in a bin. That's what this stage is, which is a fun place to start. Yeah, basically, we will being God. What one are we gonna make become a human and go into the real world and like be happy, be depressed? Like we get to pick the life. I it's know. really exciting. That's, that is why it was so exhilarating. Get to be Jesus for a day. It was nice. Let me tell you that, it was nice. They even had some branded <laughs> ones. Isn't that a Paw Patrol? Yeah. Yeah, so there's some little, you know, licensed characters. I picked this kind of scruffy, realistic looking bear. It didn't give teddy bear vibes. It gave actual wild animal vibes, which I was, in, which enticed me. I picked a classic bear stuffed animal. I was gonna be adventurous, but then when I got into the build a bear store, I was like, wait, I think this is actually gonna be my stuffed animal. So now I was like, what is the stuffed animal that I would like? And this is what came in my mind. That's beautiful. Thank you. Step number two, stuff me. Jacob was paying and we were in this little extra section. They said you can pay extra to get a beating heart, was it? Everyone gets a heart for free, but you could pay like $7 to get a beating heart. So or I did get one. So you got one for yours, I got a scent. I'm pretty sure I got strawberry scent. We did get the little extra things. This isn't included in the base price, but yeah. So yeah, it was time to fill up the bail and the lady walking gave us three options. Soft and cuddly, medium, or foam. And I chose foam. Also just gotta say a shout out to the two employees that day. They were just good vibes. We were adults shopping at Build-A-Bear and 
they treated us like we were a kid shopping at Bonobo, which was nice because we got to experience everything. I you know, like I kind of thought since we were full blown adult men, they'd be like they wouldn't put on the whole performance, but they did. When she asked what we wanted, said, "Do you want it warm and cuddly?" Stadium, or it's like she had like this whole routine, which I loved. I forgot about that. Yeah, we there was know. choreography. There's a hole behind every stuffed animal. She puts it into the the this like cylinder thing that's gonna stuff it with cotton, and then she says, "Put your foot on this like piano key thing." Yeah. <laughs> Born. It was so nice because I was participating in making my stuffed animal come to life. It was done being filled so she gave it to me and she said, hug it. Like, is it right? Like, is it foam enough for you? And I was like, it's great. It's great. You know how it feels like an more? <laughs> yeah. I can take some out or is it perfect? It's perfect. It was now my turn. I picked soft and cuddly. It was just exhilarating clicking the thing and just seeing my stuffed animal come to life right before my very eyes. I hugged the bear and it was perfect. Oh, that's perfect. Then this ceremony started. Yeah, I guess Builder Bear calls it the heart ceremony. <laughs> On your tummy, so they're full of laughs and giggles so you can always have fun together. On your arms, so they give you good cuddles and hugs at night. Behind your back, so they always have your back. And then go ahead and make a great big wish on those hearts. Should I say it? Because the Builder Bill employee actually said, don't say your wish out loud, else it won't come true. Just tell them. Okay, I wish that me and my bear would live happily ever after. And that isn't meant to be like I'm dating my bear. It's more just like, oh, we're both friends for the rest of our life. I actually wished that bears would be extinct, the species. So you wanted your bear to die after you just I just wanted, I wanted life? only stuffed animal bears to be a thing. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, okay. so I was like, I hope the species gets extinct. I feel like that would happen because climate change is getting yeah, worse. So I thought it was a I cute... honestly think that's a good goal. I it's thought it was possible. a cute little wish. It's kind of weird because now my stuff, no, now my veil has two hearts. Mine has like the beating heart, but then also other heart. I mean, that makes it special though. That's true. It's unique. Unique? My brain just couldn't wrap around what was happening. Now she was like stitching up the back of the bill, the bail, and like this experience was genuinely an exciting time to me. It just <laughs> felt like I was creating something. I know, like actually seeing it get stitched. When do you see a stuffed animal get stitched? Tell I me know. that. Isn't it like you were in the angel factory watching Jesus make humans, like we said before? Step three, dress me. It was optional if you wanted to get your um, stuffed animal uh, dressed because it was extra, but we both decided, let's buy clothes. No, let's get an outfit, put a look together. They had so many outfits for these stuffed animals. Like you could literally compare this whole stuffed animal clothing section to an actual store. And just so you know, so you can kind of experience what we were experiencing, Kid in a Candy Store by Jojo Siwa was playing the whole time. Like a kid in a candy store. Uh, 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 I don't really care about what they say. I think I'm getting another JoJo Siwa song mixed up. But yeah, kid in a, I'm like a kid in a candy store. Pants, t-shirts, dresses, tuxedos, shoes. They have like a whole on vehicle. You could pick the personality of your bear through their style. Do you want a thotty? Do you want a tomboy or tom girl? Do you want construction vibe? Maybe emo vibe? Like any aesthetic you were after, they had an offer. It was nice because Maybe if I like my bear being emo, maybe I'd be like, maybe I'll become emo. Yeah, or like your bear could just be an extension of your personality that you don't express in reality. That's true. So like me, I'm like, I'll bubbly, but then it's like, like deep down, like there's like a lot of like, a lot of darkness in my soul. Oh uh, yeah, so you have, your bear would reflect that. Yeah, if, if, if that was the case. Yeah, that's just an example. <laughs> Yeah. I know I just said they had an outfit for every aesthetic, but as we were brushing our bear's hair, getting them all pampered and ready to get dressed, I realized I'm all for every body type, but my particular bear, I wanted to have a cinched waist. So I was like, mm. all right, let's get a corset. They didn't have any corsets. What if I want my bear to have the hourglass figure? Like I feel yeah. like that should be an option. We should, you should be able to get any body type. It does get tough because yes, we did build a bear, but when we were in the Jesus factory, 
We didn't get to pick cinched waist, big lips, small nose, big eyes. Do I want them to have a receding hairline and be bald by 20? Like, there's a lot yeah. of things where it's like, I didn't get to choose that, so then I'm just leaving it up to fate? I feel like I should be fate in this scenario. Yeah, if we're gonna fully do Build-A-Bear. Like, you should be able to pick all that. We aren't gonna tell you what clothes we bought until the big reveal. We're yeah. gonna reveal our, our bears later. Yeah, the bears are um off camera right now, but they'll be coming to the in front of the lights and camera soon. Step four. Name me. Name me? <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Uh... It's fine. They Sorry. get it. They have like three computers. You scan your animal barcode and you get to pick the name. I think you just pick the name and the rest, like the rest is like the weight and birthday and stuff. Yeah, you make your little birth certificate. I would guess the US government or any government across the world would recognize this, right? Oh yeah, like you you could get a passport for this. Because yeah, what if you want to bring yours to like Aruba or something? Yeah, and it's like, I don't think I could put it in my luggage because I actually consider a person. So. Oh yeah, so then it would just be weird when you're going across the borders. If it starts talking, are you guys gonna say like, it needs a passport, but it's like, I couldn't get a passport because it's a stuffed animal, but it does talk. And then it's detained. Yeah, and just a, I, I just don't want that to happen. Yeah. My little, my little well, I actually have to look into passports after we're done filming. Step five, smile for me. Both of us took photos. This is basically like, you know when and you push a baby out your vagina? You know when that happens? Yeah. This is basically like, the then you take a photo with your baby when it's all bloody. This is the version at the bit. I know, you get a red carpet moment. Was this your first red carpet? Uh, hey, when are you taking photos at the Fred movie premiere? Oh, then I guess I probably had. We were on top of the world. We were feeling more joy than ever as we walked with our bears in hand. Alright, let's open mine. Okay, first of all, this is my birth certificate. Yeah, that's a birth date. I actually named... Do you care if I show it on camera? I didn't know if oh, you thought crap. someone would steal their identity. Oh wait, my ID number? I don't want anyone... Whatever. Just please, none of you guys steal his identity. The full name is Carl Minogue. I don't know, like some days I came up with the name Carl because Carl Lagerfeld. It's like one of my, ins one of my amuses. Who is that again? <laughs> Chris Chanel, or like a Chanel person or something. <laughs> okay. And then Minogue just came out, like Ky there is Kylie Minogue. She's not a muse of mine, but I am a fan. 11 inches, nine ounces, brown eyes, dark brown fur, and it belongs to Lucas, of course. All right, let's meet Carl Minogue. Yes. I just love how it's like different shades, some highlights in the fur. Oh, let's see if I can smell the strawberry. Wait. Oh. Oh, it's in that shoulder. You wanna smell it? Yeah. It smells like um, a strawberry f and cream frappuccino from Starbucks. Oh yeah. I didn't get that extensive of an outfit. I just got a t-shirt that said love wins because as I was getting Carl ready, I found out he's bisexual. So I figured, you know, I'm gonna be a supportive parent and get of a love wins thing just so he knows like I'm on his side, I guess. Even though like the LGBT stuff is kind of gross to me. Like I just want to support him in some way. I thought you got it to be um, ironic. I didn't know that he was actually bisexual. Oh yeah, he was bisexual. He came out as bisexual. I just wanted to announce it for the first time on camera. He was really born four days ago and he already knows. Well, like in bare years, he's like already like 40 pretty much. So yeah, there's Carl's outfit. Look at that. Carl Minogue, everyone. Mine is a lot softer than Lucas's. She asked me if I wanted the how in its hand or its stomach. I'm pretty sure I said stomach. <gasps> it's beating right now, I just Wait. had to press it. You can hear it. I do wanna say now after looking at it, I think it's more of a wolf. Patsy Bill Crystal, 16 inches, eight ounces, and I'm the owner. What's the inspo behind the name? I love it. When me and Lucas were driving to Des Moines, I was telling him, I feel like the next big superstar 
might be named Patsy. So then a Patsy was in my brain already, and also I just think Patsy is such a cute name. And then Bill, after Patsy, is kind of confusing because you know how names usually have a gender behind it? Patsy reminds me of a female, and Bill reminds me of a male. So it kind of throws you out in a curve, and then Crystal, I, I just love it. The outfits. Mine was more in like a Fashion Nova type mood. He confided in me that he would never buy something that isn't fast fashion. He doesn't unwillingly support it, he just loves supporting fast fashion. So yeah, oh. um, he wanted something that looked like Fashion Nova. And then some shoes. Oh my, this outfit is Hales. It. Hales actually. <gasps> Wait, how does that work with the tail? There's a, there's a spot for the tail. Oh, I was about to be worried for you. So you could honestly as well as leotard, but Obviously, I'm gonna have to add the pants. Yeah, what do you do with the tail now? Is there a hole in the pants as well? There actually isn't. Oh, I put it on backwards. There, there is a hole for the tail. There's a hole for the tail, like I said, which is nice. At first I was scared. I was like, I don't want the tail to be out because then it looks like the pants won't muck for him, <laughs> which isn't what I wanted. Would you ever cut off your bear's tail? You know some people cut off their dog's tails for some reason? Uh, I'm kind of more in the I'm, I'm more on the natural side. Yeah, let nature be nature. <laughs> do they fit? They do. Patsy Crystal's feet are big. I have butterflies on this shoe, I didn't even notice that. Okay, just show the full look. Are they the pants supposed to be pulled down? Or like, are they short? Oh, um, I want them to be more high-waisted. Oh, oh, but okay. they, yeah, I actually could pull them down, you're right. Okay, this outfit is it. <sighs> Patsy! I feel like he could walk the pole on this outfit. What are you doing at Sally's Cantina? Um, just chilling. <laughs> HBU. Oh wait, I didn't ask your name. What's your name? Carl Minogue. And you? My name is... Wait, I almost forgot my name. Oh, it's Patsy Bill Crystal. <laughs> you are an airhead, I love it. Forgetting your name. <laughs> you know, I... I was born four days ago, so sometimes they don't know. <laughs> yeah, love wins. Agree or disagree? Um, I like love wins. Um, I, I like how you're wearing it not during Pride Month too, because it proves that you're a real, uh, uh you're a real, uh, what do you call that? Like you believe in it a lot. Yeah, the commercialization and capitalistic <laughs> way that Pride Month is explored through giant corporations is honestly disgusting to me. I have a question though. I saw that t-shirt at Target during June. So, do you support it but you're also against it? Totally understand if you are like that. Um, I never got this at Target, I got it at Build-A-Bear. So anyway, new subject. <laughs> well, do you, do you wanna hang out like later this weekend? Like you seem kinda fun and like kinda spicy. Oh yeah, I feel like our personalities kinda complement each other. Like, I more like talk about world issues and you're just like living. Yeah, I mean, love wins. Like I, I believe that. I just like wouldn't go to a protest because this is not my vibe, but like obviously I'd go on Instagram and tweet it and stuff. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, let's let let let's dip. So you can levitate. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I don't. As you can tell, I can't really walk. Or I guess I crawl. Yeah. Oh. I'm glad that they'll that 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 they'll fund. I know they got along, which we were kind of worried about. So that's perfect. Because we're we're like we're around each other quite a time, quite a time, quite a few of a time. So like I'm glad that they can also be around each other yeah. all the time. Build a Bill's slogan used to be "Well, bust funds are made," and I do have to say, I think I made a new bust fund or my only bust fund. Um, I feel like Carl and Oak and me are more of acquaintances. Like I feel like he'll never let me fully in, which is fine. I'm just not his vibe. You, it's still all positive vibes. Oh, it's all positive vibes. He's more of an introvert. We obviously need to discuss dactyl fees. I think having a baby in the United States is actually like somehow $3,000. That's iconic. Having a builder bear is all over the place. Some of the bears are like $20, some of them are $40. But with everything that we got, the house, the clothes, the bears, it was $99 flat. This is our experience at builder bear and you know, that was it. Toodaloo. Bye, goodbyezies.